Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the mean stack. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I can create a really simple app with the mean stack, but I can't create it in vanilla JavaScript. Is it important to code things in vanilla JavaScript or is it fine to just use tools such as React? Well, usually you will be able to just make things in like an SBA framework or something like that or in well this case the mean stack. The thing is though knowing vanilla JavaScript like, there is a I think we need to define a few things just a, like, just a little bit now. When Someone like my, myself say, uh, when I say that no, it's not really necessary for you to learn vanilla JavaScript. What I mean by that is not that you shouldn't learn JavaScript, because the thing is you're quote unquote using vanilla JavaScript even if you're in React or Angular or Vue or whatever. It's all JavaScript, it's just one language. The thing that we usually talk about when we say building a website in vanilla JavaScript is that if you're going to create, well, a dynamic web page well and not even necessarily an SBA being able to actually use the browsers native APIs to create different ob like elements and querying the DOM and doing all of these things these are things that you may not need to know in order to build an entire web application because it's very uncommon it's practically unheard of that you build a complicated SBA like application in just vanilla JavaScript but if you're working on an application that isn't really a good fit for a SBA then this is how you do it it is standard practice it is base knowledge to be able to for an example create a HTML element with just the browser APIs and occupy it. A common thing that might happen in many cases actually is that you need to be able to press a link and being able to create a link through the native APIs and then execute it or load an image without actually having an HTML, HTML element well these are things that are fairly common and sure, if you spend all your time in React or Angular or something like that, you may not need to have the mastery to be able to build a very sophisticated application in vanilla JavaScript, but I will tell you that it is very good hygiene to know how to do these things. So what I would suggest to you is, no, is to use the 80-20 rule. So 80% of your time should be spent using the tools that are most common to what you're going to do when you're actually on the job. And if you're going to be a mean stack developer, then those are the tools that you should prioritize. But I also strongly urge you to understand and take the time to put 20% of your time into making applications that are not standard SBA applications. It can be simple things like a static website or something with a small animation just so you know how to actually load a script to a page like have you ever I mean how many of you have you done have, have done that have you like are you always using something like react or have you ever actually tried to just load a vanilla JavaScript file that just builds up a things things on the on the web page it doesn't have to be like without react it's just the browser's native API you're just loading a script and see how that works because there are many instances where this sort of underst like understanding how these things work because the, the guys this is the foundation that's the foundation of it all it's uh, it to me it, the analogy would be like all right you know how to use CSS modules but you don't know how to use CSS uh, you know how to use bootstrap or foundation or tailwind CSS but you don't actually know how to style anything yourself sure you can absolutely get by by simply using the, like the frameworks all the time. But your mastery of your craft will never be complete until you understand these fundamentals. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you are focusing on the mean stack and you're asking me, should I learn vanilla JavaScript? I say yes, but use the 80-20 principle. 
80% of your time should be spent on the things that you are going to use on the job. And most of the time, if you're doing, say, front-end related work or things like that, you're going to use a framework of some sort. It used to be in the day that we had jQuery, and that was the thing that everybody had to know because that's what all the companies were new, uh, using. Today it's React Angular Vue that is the priority, but you should still put 20% into understanding the fundamentals because the fundamentals is how every, like all of it is built up around it and you will find very often that your understanding of what's actually happening in the code and how things actually fit together will be very limited if you don't understand those basics and those basics trust me when i say this are going to matter on more occasions than you can than than i think that you suspect it's not going to as i said don't make it your top priority. Master the 80%, the thing that you're doing most of the time first, but don't neglect the basics. They are very valuable. Have a great day.